Today's episode includes a new form of transportation. I learned how to use the throttle on a bike. And I don't want to have a crash. I don't want to have a crash. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> so what we got here is an ultra quick, super high performance, ultra mega machine made for the best of the best athletes that's me and then I ride it fast because it's like 7,000 cc's up here awesome minus a few cc's give or take a few more cc's she maxes out at about 30 miles an hour right now because I'm you know full of cheeseburgers and burritos <laughs> <laughs> I could get her buck into 35 36 yeah Easy. dude let's see this all right, let's give it a go. Basically, the main goal of today is see how reliable and how practical one of these machines can be for everyday use. So we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna see how far we can take it. First test, can it do a burnout? Every reliable vehicle ever made does a freaking burnout. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Does that count? No. <laughs> you might not want to stand there, guy. <laughs> Woo! She does a burnout! The main test of this is to see if it's practical for me to use to get to work. Can I do it? I don't know. Is it a good idea? No, but I think maybe if I shed some light on this situation, it's like an epidemic for the whole world. The whole world. Look at all of these people who care. <laughs> fields of them. Fields of them. Um, but <laughs> the main thing here is to see, can we make this? A practical means of transportation so now is when the journey starts but before that does it do wheelies <laughs> shoot <laughs> Two 
So, we are uh, currently in town, cruising. This is super dangerous and super loud, I'm sorry. If you can't hear me, um, I guess we'll go over the basic steps with this thing. It goes fast and it's dangerous. <laughs> I don't know if it's street legal necessarily. Coming to a stop. Following traffic laws, everybody, you desperately need to. All right, now, fuel efficiency is pretty great. I get like 20 miles to the gallon. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't gone that far on it. I'm doing this with one hand and it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to have a crash. Another stop sign, maybe I can talk to you a little bit. Whoa, I got a car behind me. <laughs> oh man, this is so much fun. I think I'm gonna not ride with the camera anymore. <laughs> I'll lead her right here. Don't move. All right. How was that? That was sick. <laughs> Very practical. Not bad, honestly. It's just super loud. I mean, if you could figure out it being loud and not have an issue with that. Keeps up to speed. It definitely does speed in town. Like, if you needed to get around no in problem. somewhat of a hurry, no you'd be good. You can't really do a whole lot with it, like get groceries or hold anything. You could get a backpack full of groceries. You could get a backpack full of groceries. So. It's fairly practical, to be honest. So I guess that part of the test is over. We tried to find something else to do. Everybody's busy today, it's a Monday. What are you gonna do? Everyone's lazy today. We uh we had a really good time on this pocket bike today. You got it. You best believe there's gonna be more pocket rocket videos. More pocket rockets too. Also, fun fact, don't Google pocket rocket trying to find one of these. You're not gonna find, well you will, but you're gonna find some other things that you don't wanna find. I can tell you right now, I found the hard way that uh, two things you can ride. One of them is a pocket bike, one of them not a pocket bike. It's a, it's a rocket. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for the day, guys. Just expect more good stuff coming. Also, surprise trip coming days away. Stay tuned, it's gonna be good. We're gonna have a blast on a trip, a road trip. 